Learn Java the hard way. Exercise zero, the setup. Mac OS 10, Mavericks. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to install the basic tools um, that is a good text editor and the Java development kit on a Mac. I'm using uh, Mac OS 10.9, which is Mavericks, but it should be the same if you have a uh, Lion or Mountain Lion, basically. Um, so we're going to start by installing the text editor, which is Text Wrangler. So we're going to go to, um, in Safari, go ahead and op open up my website, learn Java the hard way, go to the first free 16 chapters and go to exercise zero. And then you should see right here where it says go to Text Wrangler. So if you right click on that, open it in a new tab, you should be able to middle click on it as well. And that'll take us to the bare bones software page. And so the download link is right here where it says download Text Wrangler here. And we want to download the disk image. So that'll start downloading. It's not a very big file, so it doesn't take very long. And a matter of fact, it finished before I finished talking. So you can open up the disk image right there. You do have to know your administrator account to do this. So. I just right click on this and I said uh, open. And that brings up in your applications window. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm not very good with a Mac, so I'm just going to take this and drag it over. I'm going to click and drag, and then it's going to make me type in the administrator password. Since the account I'm using is not an administrator account, maybe yours is, and then you'll get to skip this step. So there it is, right down there. So we can open that guy up. It'll take a second to launch the first time you do it. So um, Text Wrangler is a free version of a, a more expensive text editor called BB Edit. BB Edit is very good, but you don't need it. The extra features that it adds don't give you any benefit for your current programming career. If you have a really good text editor that shows you line numbers and does syntax highlighting and auto indentation, then you could use that if you wanted to. So I am sure I want to open it. I probably could have clicked that a second ago. And there we go. There's our text editor. So we will we will type something in this in a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to minimize this for now, and we'll return to it in some time. Okay, the second thing that we need to do then is we need to install the the Java development kit, probably. So we're going to open up Terminal. So we want to go to Finder, go here, and start typing in Terminal, and it should find it there. For some reason, my clicking is acting, acting weird. <coughs> so it should open up a little bash terminal like this. And what I want you to do is I want you to type in Java C dash version. So that's J-A-V-A-C, a space, then a minus sign or a hyphen or a dash, then no space, and the word version, V-E-R-S-I-O-N, and then hit enter. And if you have a very old version of the Mac, like uh, Lion, or no, before Lion, like Leopard, or Snow Leopard, or Tiger, one of those really old ones, then it will just print out a version number on the screen when you do that. But um, since uh, Lion, the Java tools were not installed by default on the machine. So if you click more info, it'll take you to the website. Um, we don't really need to do that because the website is already right here. Oh no, there's no link to it right now. Um, so let's 
let's just go down here because the Windows link, by the time you watch this video, the link will actually be there. So I apologize for that. That should take you to a page that looks basically like this. It's important to notice that what you're trying to download, if you go to this website yourself, is not the JRE, but it's something called the JDK, which is the Java Development Kit. So you just click on this big button right here. At the version I'm recording this, version 8, uh, release 11 is the most recent version. Um, then you're going to scroll down here. You're going to say accept license agreement. And then you want OS 10, the 64-bit edition. And just click right there to download. And that will take a little bit of time to do. So I'm going to pause for just a second and then resume recording when the download is finished because I don't want to make you guys wait for that. So we're almost done downloading now. There's your little bounce to show you that it's done. So you should be able to click on that. And then we want to open up the JDK, a disk image. Which will take slightly longer because it's a bigger file. And then all you have to do is double click right here on the installer. And it's pretty straightforward. All I have to do is just click install. And then again, we have to do the administrator thing. If you're not an administrator account. And again, this will take a little bit of time. So at some point it'll show you how much install time is remaining, which may or may not be true. I guess I could take this time to say that this procedure should be the same whether you're using Mavericks or whether you're using um, Lion or Mountain Lion um, or any future version. Basically, the you just have to install it and then things should work okay. So when you... And there you go. So we can just close that right there and eject the update right there. So now when we return back to our terminal window, if we type in Java C dash version again, you should see Java C 1.8.0 underscore 11 or whichever version you installed. It doesn't really matter which version you have as long as it's newer than 1.6. Um, 1.6 is fine, 1.7 is fine, 1.8 is fine, and then anything after here is fine. Uh, all the code in my book will work on any of those versions of Java. Um, so that's kind of nice. So that's really good. Um, so we'll come back to the terminal in just a second. We're, we're going to go back now to um, this. We're going to practice. Oh, we're supposed to create a folder. Sorry. Um, this is me not reading this stuff on the website myself. So what we're supposed to do next is we are supposed to, sorry, um, learn how to create a folder or make a directory from the terminal and make a directory so you can put all your code from this book in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the, the folder right here inside the, the home directory. And so I'm going to type mkdir, I'm going to call it Java code, and then if I type ls, I should see that there is now a Java code folder inside there. And then I'm going to go back to Text Wrangler and I'm just going to make a little test file. This is a test. And I'm going to say File Save. And I'm going to click right here because it's going to try to put it in my Documents folder, which is not the folder that I just used. So I want to call it test.txt, but I want to store it not in my documents, but here my I created my username as Learn Java because this is a fresh install of Mavericks here. So we want to put it inside the Java code folder. So you want to have that highlighted and go right there and then 
you can close that if you want and click save. And it ought to remember that, I think, remember that path. So you can see the file path is right there. So now we're going to go back to terminal. Now I challenged you to do this without using the mouse. So you should be able to hold down command tab and it'll pop up this little list of things. And if I, I'm just holding down command and I'm pressing tab, 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 tab to cycle through those. And then when I get the one I want, I just let go of the command button and it should bring it to the front. And then I can type in ls and I'm going to type in cd java code. So that changes the current working directory to Java code. And you'll notice that my prompt changes to say that I'm in the Java code folder. And if I type ls, it gives me a list of the files in the current folder. And you can see that there's a file called test.txt that's inside there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I assume if you are a Mac owner that maybe you don't use the command prompt very often, that you're not in terminal a whole lot. So I would... I would very much recommend that you do the uh, the command line crash course by Zed Shaw, which is free on his website, um, to, to just get some of the basics of the commands so that you can do that. But if you've got Text Wrangler installed um, and you've got a terminal installed and whenever you run and you've got the JDK installed because Java C dash version tells you something instead of an error message then you're good to go and you finish this this pretty difficult exercise and you're ready to move on to exercise one so hope that was understandable for you please feel free to email me if there's any questions because i'm not a mac user so it's possible that i missed something on there um, and otherwise happy coding